The air is coming from the mirror. Okay. And I realize the mirror moves. Let me show you what I found in my New York City this is the point in the horror movie where the bad guy jumps out and we all spill our popcorn, right? Candyman. It's just a story. Candyman. But no, unlike Candyman, the mystery behind this mirror really happened to 26-year-old Samantha Hartso, and thankfully, she lived to tell the tale on TikTok. She says she felt cold air in her Roosevelt Island, New York apartment but way more than would be expected. There was cold air blowing, not just I'm chilly, like you could see in the video, blowing my hair. You can see my hair blowing in the cold wind. It was freezing and I was like, well, this isn't gonna fly. Like, I can't live like this. So I was like, I have to find out where the air's coming from. The air was coming from behind her bathroom mirror. And my first thought is, y'all, I'm over here like brushing my Invisalign. Like what if the mirror, falls on me like I could have been hit by my own mirror so that's why I was so upset I was like upset and that's why I took it off the wall the mirror falling off the wall was the least of Samantha's worries turns out there was no wall behind her mirror at all but an open hole that led to an unknown space well, what if someone's living in there right just like the horror movie heroines before her, Samantha decided she needed to explore, armed with a hammer, of course. But I can't go in empty handed, you know? I mean, I feel like I have a pretty good punch, but like, I'm not trying to practice, I'm not trying to like play that, you know? Turns out Samantha found a passageway to an abandoned apartment. No rats or people to be found. Wow, this is a whole other apartment but a whole lot of questions. I'm gonna go ahead and lock this door. Made it out alive. My landlord's getting a really fun phone call tomorrow. Like I would love to just have uh, some sort of answer to like why there's a hole there and like when. Before posting her horror movie apartment find on TikTok, Samantha almost stopped sharing her life adventures and deleted the app, but it sounds like she might stick around for a while. So is this encouraging you then to go on more adventures or is that just life for you? I don't think anybody needs to be doing that. I don't think anybody needs to encourage me to go on more adventures. If anything, people are like, let's take it down a notch, you're gonna get arrested. Even with the scary apartment next door, Samantha, who works as a development manager for a youth nonprofit in Brooklyn, says she's thankful. I feel very excited and blessed to have the opportunity to entertain so many people. I love making people smile, love making people laugh. So it's super humbling, truly humbling that like God gave me this position to, to just make so many people entertained, you know? Wow, this is a whole other planet. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm TC Newman.